Hi all, this is Vasavi. So in this video, we'll try to solve a problem with a trigonometric ratio. So the problem here is, in a triangle ABC, right angled at B, if tan A is 1 over root 3, we need to find the value of sin A cos C plus cos A sin C cos A sin C minus sin A sin C. And let me find out the sides, all the sides. So what is given here? They say tan A is 1 over root 3, right? You know tan is opposite over adjacent, right? So the values given are opposite and adjacent of angle A. Because it is tan A, remember? It is tan A. So let me first draw the, I mean name the triangle. So this is A, B is at the right angle and C. Now your angle is at A, tan A, right? So the angle is now at A. So which is your opposite side? This one is your opposite side. This one is your adjacent side. And this one is your hypotenuse side. Okay. Now the values given are opposite is 1. So this is going to be 1. And the adjacent side is root 3. So this is going to be root 3. Understood? So we don't know what is the hypotenuse side. So let us find that out first. So your hypotenuse side. So we use the Pythagorean formula. There you have c square is equal to a square plus b square, right? Where a and b are the shortest sides. Now, we don't know the hypotenuse side, so we'll keep the c as it is. So that is c square and a is root 3. So that is root 3, the whole square plus b is 1. So that is 1 square. So... The square of a third will give the number itself. Square root 3. When you square it, it becomes 3. And 1 square is 1. You know that. So that will give you 4. Now you have got your c square as 4. Hence your c would be equal to square root of 4 which is 2. So you got your C as 2. Now that you know all the sides, all the three sides, let's find out what are sin A, cos C, cos A, sin C. First let's do with angle A. Okay, now I'm going to find out with angle A. So here your angle is at A. Okay, so this is A, B, C. You have found out. This is given root 3, this is given as 1 and this is 2. Now I am going to find sin A and cos A, okay? Cos A. So now you know that the theta is at A, right? So your angle is over here. Now you know what is the opposite side? This is opposite and this one is adjacent, right? And as usual, the longest side is your hypotenuse side. Now, how do you write sin A? Sin A is opposite over hypotenuse. So, you know what is your opposite side? Opposite side is 1 over hypotenuse is 2. So, you got that as 1 over 2. Now, Cos A. Next we are going to find cos A. Cos A is adjacent over hypotenuse. Here your adjacent is root 3. And your hypotenuse is 2. So that would be root 3 by 2. Then we also need sin C and cos C. A, B and C. But this time your angle is at C because we are going to find out sin C 
and cos c okay so the theta is c here so fix the angle at c this time this is at c now you know this is your opposite side for c opposite of angle c is ab and this one is your adjacent side and this is your hypotenuse side so you already know the values of all this side it is root 3 and here at the bottom it is 1 and this one is 2 right now sin c sin is again opposite over hypotenuse this time the angle is at c so your opposite side is root 3 root 3 over hypotenuse is 2 now cos c cos c the angle is at c so your adjacent side cos is adjacent over hypotenuse so look at the adjacent side the adjacent side is 1 and the hypotenuse is 2 so this would be 1 over 2 now that you have found out all the values uh, you know what is sin a you know what is cos a you know what is sin c and cos c let's apply that in this and find the value of what has been asked so we got the sine and cos value already just plug in those values here so that would be sine a your sine a is already you have got that it is 1 over 2 right if you want you can cross check it is 1 over 2 here so sine a is 1 over 2 times here this is times cos c your cos c is again 1 over 2. So I put that also here. 1 over 2. This plus you have the next set. Cos A. Cos A is root 3 over 2 times sin C. Sin C is also root 3 over 2. So here this would be now how you don't have anything to simplify straight away multiply the numerators 1 times 1 is 1 and 2 times 2 is 4 plus now here times you don't have anything to simplify again this side so just multiply root 3 times root 3 is 3 okay you know root 3 squared is 3 so that is 3 over 2 times 2 is 4 now it is easy for you to add these fractions since the denominator is same you can put the numerator as it is and do so that would be 4 over 4 which is 1 whole sin a cos c plus cos a sin c is equal to 1. So you got that value now. Now let's do the second part of the question. You have to find out cos a cos c minus sin a sin c. Right? You have to do cos a. Your cos a is root 3 by 2. Right? We already got that. And cos c is half. That is 1 over 2 minus, you can put this in brackets if you want, minus, do the next set, put them in brackets, sin A, sin A is 1 over 2 times sin C, sin C is root 3 by 2, right, root 3 by 2. So what happens? You don't have anything to simplify. So root 3 times 1 is root 3 over 4 minus here also it is root 3 over 4. So that will give you 0. So you can say cos A cos C minus sin A, sin 
c is equal to 0. So that's all. We have found the values of both. It is simple. Just be careful with your basics like multiplication, addition of fractions and multiplication of fractions as well as your signs and you can do this very easily. Thank you. Bye.